what uh, really interested us even before we went there, what kind of sparked our curiosity when we said yes to the project, to the first commission, was that how, like, what's the value of fashion in these remote places? Like, here you are in Greenland, like, why do you become a fashion designer? And also the history, not only of fashion, but of clothing, and how do you cope with basically the, the force of nature there, when, like how can you ever be fashionable in like a snowstorm? But, uh, but also then on the other hand, if that impacts you as a creative person uh, and a designer, but how does that impact you as a person? I mean, obviously you will have a very, uh, or it became, it wasn't obvious from the beginning, but it became very obvious then when we actually did our interviews and researches uh, on location, yeah. that um, people are very influenced by of course, the weather, but yeah, then yeah. also the year, the darkness and the light, yeah, yeah. and the kind of immediate uh, force of nature. We, we use the medium of photography, uh, yeah. but I wouldn't call us necessarily photographers in, no. in that sort of technical sense, because none of these images are necessarily like that 30th of a second moment. When it comes to sort of the way that we're thinking about what the finished image is, uh, the image needs to portray something beyond that moment because I think when the, it's kind of like the Persian miniatures, you know, you have to put a lot into this one story yeah. and uh, it's not a book you can go through over several pages or a film. It has to all be there in that one image, like the image is worth yeah. a thousand words. Yeah. And I think for us, we're looking at a much more holistic view of, of looking and attacking photography. And there comes in technology, there comes in also where we're maybe, um, sometimes we have worked with uh, more analog techniques of painting or, or drawing. Uh, but I think overall, we like this kind of gray zone of you wondering, is gray this zone. a photograph? Yeah, yeah. Is it a painting? Yeah. Is it? And maybe what we're trying to emotionally charge the image, image with and to make you feel in a sense is maybe more real to the circumstance than a real honest to God 30th of a second image. That, that you maybe feel more about what it is we're trying to say than just having the image in itself be directly from that moment. Okay. And I think these sort of moments in between is something that we're really curious with uh, in all of the images that we work with. Uh, and I think that we also play with the, the um, with this very embroidered and very emotional style is something that we love to sort of use in capturing uh, the viewer into the story that we, that we want to express or tell. In cities, it's a little bit harder for us to work with our method. I think we really enjoy being in smaller uh, places just because we work really intensely with people and, and to make just make the contact and kind of dial, delve into the network that still exists in smaller, maybe more rural areas or just smaller places. That is what interests us. And, um, and with the cultural side of it, of course, also, um, it's just our, our personal interest. But we've been talking about uh, getting closer to where we are from. But I think you need a little bit of distance.